1 million Australians are living with anxiety or depression and there are many treatment options available, including medication. But for some, medication simply doesn't work. And now there is a new drug-free way to treat depression using magnetic fields. Please welcome psychiatrist Dr Jason Pace and two of his patients join us in the studio audience this morning, Kerry and Diane. Hey. Welcome to all of you. Yes, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Tell us about this treatment. How does it work? So um, it's called transcranial magnetic stimulation, or TMS for short. Um, as it says, I mean, it's basically using magnets to stimulate the brain. Now, magnets can travel through solid objects, so it can travel through bone. So we just have to put these quite strong magnets on the outside of the person's brain. And through that, without any other intervention, we can communicate with the brain and stimulate the underlying areas of the brain. So it's a, it's a very safe procedure. It can be done in a outpatient setting, it doesn't require any hospitalisation. The procedure takes about an hour, a bit less than an hour usually. People can drive themselves to the clinic, they, you know, have the treatment and then they go on and do work and do their re regular everyday activities. Mm. So, can I, say, I mean, this is, I'm, I'm not a doctor obviously, but this sounds like something out of a science fiction movie or, at, you know, at worst, quackery. Is it, what is the science behind it? How does it actually... So, TMS was invented about 1985. So there's about 20 years of research on TMS and depression. So yeah. it's actually a very, very long-standing history of, uh, of research in this area. Uh, it's all the, all the college of psychiatrists around the world recognise it as being a valid treatment. Uh, it's been recognised sort of, uh, and used quite regularly in America. In America, there's over 600 clinics offering TMS. Right, so yeah. it's all, it's all evidence-based, it's all peer-reviewed, it's all... Absolutely. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Dr Jason, why do you need a referral to actually have this treatment? Well, the referral just helps us communicate with the, with the GP and the psychiatrist. Uh, I think, you know, we always do a very thorough assessment anyway. Um, because psychiatrists and GPs aren't fully aware of all the things about TMS, there's still an education process going on as well. So we'll do a very thorough assessment, make sure the person's suitable. But then we like to keep, keep communicating with the, with the GPs and the psychiatrists to let them know what's happening. At the same time, we're educating them about the process as well. So, so can you, just for a lay person's um, understanding, so it actually, the magnets actually influence the neural uh, pathways in the brain or what do they, how do they actually work? How do they manipulate the way you think and stop the depression? Well, there's two types of things we can do. We can either um, give quick pulses to the brain yeah. and that tends to activate the part of the brain which we are uh, underneath that. We can actually use slow posters to actually slow down parts of the brain. So we can sort of turn on or off the brain depending on what we, what we need to really? do. So if you've got anxiety, for example, and your brain is sort of firing on all cylinders, you can slow it down. Exactly right. So I was actually reading something about this, about OCD. There's some research now looking at OCD, and you can actually use a slow pulsing to slow mm -hmm. down parts of the brain. But in depression, we tend to use the, the fast pulsing side of the to, thing to, to activate start. the underlying sort of prefrontal cortex area. Wow. wow. As we mentioned earlier at the top of this interview, we have two of your patients in our studio audience this morning. Now, they've had the treatment. Let's chat to Kerry first. Kerry, what made you seek out this treatment? Um, well, I found that medication really wasn't working for me and two of my family members had had TMS before, so I thought I'd give it a go. Mm. Wow, and what did it feel like? Did, can you feel anything at all? Yeah, you can. Um, it's just like a small hammer tapping on the side of your head. Um, it's <laughs> painless. Uh, you get very used to it. And how long does... Uh, do, do you then feel... Do you feel your mood lift straight away or how, and how long does it last? Um, I felt that it uh, probably started lifting within the first two weeks. Right. I noticed a big difference. Family noticed it earlier. Um, and as for a relapse, I had a relapse a little while ago um, after stopping treatment. Right. And it took, was about two months. And Diane, tell us about your experience. What happened with you? Um, I've had depression for 20 years. I've been on medication and um, I got desperate. <laughs> Mm. I met uh, Jason, um, he was my treating psychiatrist in, when I've had a hospital admission and he suggested I try it. Um, my treating psychiatrist at the time wasn't happy about it, um, but I decided I'd give it a go and I've been having it for two years now. I'm completely off medication after 20 years. Mm. And, um, yeah, life's amazing. In I haven't had a relapse uh, in the two years. Um, I have I have treatment now once every four weeks. I just pop in and have a little top up and um, it's just been amazing, fabulous. That is extraordinary. Diane, you're also off medication, I understand. 
Yes. Um, and and you, you mentioned, Diane, that your uh, psychiatrist wasn't happy with it. Is, is it divided in the psychiatric world or the medical world more broadly as to whether this works? Are there two schools of thought? Um, I think there are people who understand what it is and I think are comfortable with it. But I think it's, it's not readily available in Australia at the moment because we don't have Medicare rebates. I think GPs and psychiatrists are reluctant to recommend something that's not Medicare uh, funded. Right. Is it is an expensive treatment without Medicare, um, even though it's been TJ approved 10 years ago in Australia for, for use. Right. I think for a lot of the psychiatrists and a lot of GPs, unless there's that Medicare sort of item number. Stamp of approval. Kind yeah, of it's yeah. something that they're reluctant to sort of see people spending money on. Right. But I don't think there's any controversy as far as the efficacy or the safety of the treatment. I think that side of things. What about people? Because I'm on drugs for uh, depression and I've got to say, I love them. They're great. <laughs> um, and not particularly potent ones, but... You wouldn't want to tell people with depression, I presume, to stop I'm, taking the medication to say that. and take this up. No, no, so it was... everyone who, who comes to see us usually has a much like die, a long history of depression and they're not getting better or they're not getting a full response with, it, with their treatment. So for them, it's, it's on top of their medication. Right. Now, with someone like Guy, her response was so dramatic and she reached a full remission, you know, yeah. within, within a period of time. So then we would negotiate, you know, with her, it's a slow withdrawal of the medication. Right. So it's a bit like going from one medication to another medication. You sort of tend yeah. to sort of overlap to some degree. So the TMS always gets started. If there's no response, we don't touch the medication. If there's a good response, then we have to look for opportunities to, to reduce or even stop the medication down the track. And Joe makes an excellent point. Don't stop your medication. That's right. Yeah, don't sure stop, don't you, always stop you taking your pills. right advice and it's all done under correct yeah. observation. If you'd like to find out more information about transcranial magnetic stimulation, you can talk to your GP and to see if it could be a suitable treatment for you. Dr Jason Pace, Kerry and Diane, thank, thank you. you so much for joining us.